Okay, so I have my little guy done here. Um, I have covered the body completely in Model Magic, and I've smoothed it out. I've done the face. I did change the way I did the ear. Instead of doing it like a little curve shape, I ended up doing it just like a coil, you know, a little single coil like that, a small one, making it into a C shape, and then blending that in. Okay, just like that. Um, and so that's done. I've got the eyes done. I'm going to add one last little eyebrow to him. I did end up giving him, I put a little coil, one of those little coils that I had left. I put right along the top of the head to give him more of a forehead. And I put a little bit underneath, again, another one of those little coils on the chin so that he had a chin. I didn't feel like he had enough chin. Um, and now I'm going to add one last little bit for his last eyebrow. Okay, so again, you may add whatever details to yours that you want. You may add as much or as little detail to yours. If you wanted to do something abstract, you could do that also. Okay, so you can do whatever you want. Now I can take this and I can go ahead and kind of carve into this to make it look like clothing. Okay, I can kind of take this and trail this along and make it look like the edge of a t-shirt. Okay, so you can add all of the details that you want. I could do the same thing around the arms to make it look like a cuff of a shirt. Okay, so the more details you add, the better it will be. It will also provide you kind of some spaces to paint rather than doing it all one color. Although if you're doing an animal, you may end up doing it all one color. Okay, so the more details you add to your sculpture, the better it will be. Okay, can't wait to see what you guys do with that.